people reach financial freedom with MLM businesses. And now it's our turn. Come join me while I implement real, powerful, and simple marketing tactics to build my six-figure business that most of the MLM industry is oblivious to. I'm Michelle Bowler, and welcome to the MLM Moms Podcast. Hey, my people. So I disappeared back in August, but I am back. I was planning on having episodes released over the last few months, even though I knew a move for the army was coming and I had a lot of it set and ready to go. But then I got pregnant, which is why I'm kind of huffing and puffing. I'm at the point where I'm like really short and I'm at the point where she's just kind of laying on my lungs. It is a girl. we got another girl coming. But anyways, I'm pregnant. Things took a really crazy turn with the move. And then, dang. Sorry, I get choked up every time I talk about it. But my husband's brother, who is my age, um, he lost his battle to cancer and just uh, died a few days before we were scheduled to move. So the day we were, the day before we were scheduled um, and planning on leaving our home in Utah and then drive across the country to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, we um, got some help from a lot of neighbors to finish the packing and cleaning our house. We hopped into our cars and drove to Arizona so we could be with my husband's family and then be there for the funeral. And then from Arizona, we drove across the plains to Kentucky. So the drive was majorly extended. We spent a lot more time in the car than we thought. It was a little brutal, especially being pregnant. And we had two cars. So we're both of us, me and my husband, were driving the whole time. But we made it. Honestly, I could have started this podcast up back up shortly after we got here, but I needed time to recuperate physically and emotionally from that whirlwind. Um, Now the holidays are behind us though, and I hope you had a wonderful season. My health is a lot better, and I am really excited for 2019 and making it a year of executing my goals instead of just dreaming them up. And I want to help you do the same. So, while I have been taking this break from the podcast and from a few other parts of my business, one of the perks of having a system in place that works for you, like I've talked about, um, but even though I wasn't opening up my computer to directly work on things, I was still learning and thinking and processing a ton about my business and how I could make things better. And there is a very important thing that I learned, and I've already made some big big shifts in that I think you need to hear. And that's what I want to talk about today. I have found my lane and let me explain what I mean by this. I am actually in an MLM that sells beauty products. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want you guys to think that I am just here to push my MLM. If you're interested, reach out. That's fine. But I don't want to be the person who's just constantly pitching their MLM, you know, like that's That's not the way that I think things should be done, and that's not what I'm here on this podcast to do. But anyways, I'm in a beauty MLM, and a lot of people in the top of my company, meaning they have the most sales or they have the biggest teams, aka they make the most cash money like we all want to do, they are all in their mid-30s or a little bit older, and most of them have some sort of background with cosmetology Um, either they went to school or, you know, like they, they went to school, they worked in it or they just went to school type of a thing. And I'm on the other hand, I'm over here. I'm going to turn 27 in a few days. Woohoo. And (laughs) have a bachelor's degree in clothing construction and didn't really wear makeup until college. Um, So for the last year and a half of working on my business, I've seen things done successfully in basically the same way. And that's the way I can't possibly do. And when I do those things, it doesn't work out the same because I'm, because me showing a hair tutorial doesn't get the same response because let's face it, it doesn't look as good. And while I fought that and let that limit me for a long time, 
I felt like I needed to make some kind of content at I felt like I needed to make the same kind of content as them, but I found myself lacking the capability to do that. I honestly haven't even put a big effort into recruiting and building my team, which would simply be doing the things that I know will work because I keep on doubting that anyone would want to be on my team because I'm not XYZ things that these women are. Then I was on this coaching call with a woman who is very successful in her MLM, which is very different than mine. And she was just asking very blatant questions type of a thing about my business. And there was a point when she stopped and said, you need to stop driving in other people's lanes. Now, honestly, this threw me off because I had known for a long time that business wise, you in an MLM, I needed to find a way to be different from everyone else. So then that way, when Sally and Susie found out about the awesome products, that they there would be some reason that they would decide to come over and talk to me instead of Jill or whatever. And but at the same time, it was throwing me off. It made a lot of sense. Because I was trying to sell beauty products the same way everyone else was trying to sell them. I was doing Instagram lives about the same things. I was posting on social media about the same topics. I was going to vendor events and markets and speaking their language, these other people in my company, but I wasn't doing it my way. I never took the time to figure out how can I sell this? Does that make sense? I needed to stop trying to drive in the mid 30s, mom of older kids, have a background in beauty kind of way. That is the a different lane in the highway. You know what I, you know what I mean? And I had to find my own lane and drive that lane like there's no tomorrow and not worry about what Jill, Sally, Cindy, Kristen, Mary, or Rachel or whoever are doing. Just not even worry about what they're doing. And I know you guys have either seen this or experienced it or are doing it because I have seen it all over the place since having this discussion and discovery a few months ago. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of posts of people who are trying to be a certain kind of fitness motivator or man, just every, like seriously, I've, I have been watching so many different MLMs and watching their people just both on top and bottom doing a lot of this research and they all do it. They have, um, they've had to have all these, they've had to have all seen a similar post from a top fitness coach or something in the company because it all sounds exactly the same. It's the same kind of words. It's the same, um, kind of message and the message can be similar, but it's the same. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like everybody has their own personal different dialect, but then it seems like all of a sudden they get into an MLM and they switch their dialect. But the thing is, is I wonder, I wonder what their post sounded like six months ago or a year ago before they joined. Now I get that people change and personal development is a really, really good thing. But when you are selling something, it has to sound real. The only way to sound real though is to be you. So if your posts sound different and are about different things than what you would have talked, than what you talk to your sisters about or best friends about, then you need to get in your lane because that is your lane. When you are comfortable when you're with your best friends, those things that you talk about, that is your lane. That is you being you. But if you're somebody else for your followers or for your company, then you need to figure out how to make those two mesh together. The other really important thing about finding your lane is you need to feel and trust that you don't need to be anyone else. You don't. There are approximately 132,960,845 women in the United States of America, give or take a few. But I would be willing to bet 
a million dollars that a very small percent of those 132,960,845 women are in their mid-30s and want to do their makeup the same way that the top 15 women in my company want to do it. I'd be willing to bet that same million dollars that out of those 132,960,845 women, there is a decent chunk who have a similar time availability for a beauty routine as me. I'd be willing to bet that there are some women who don't know a lot about makeup and get overwhelmed by everything that a beauty person background would say and needs a more similar and simpler approach that now I can give because I've taken the time to educate myself and I've, I've grown and I'm beyond where they are so I can help them. I can reach down and I can help them and speak their language and be in my lane. And it's in my lane that I'm going to find those people. I bet a million dollars that there are people who need to hear your perspective and attitude of your product too. Not the one you hear from the company or the top people in your company or from the person directly above you in your upline. They need your real thoughts and attitude. They need to hear exactly what is helping you get through all the problems and struggles that Um, come with getting your makeup on, getting your workout done, getting, helping your kids be healthier with their oils, dressing your mom body and figuring all that out, whatever it is that your product solves, they need to hear how it solves it for you. Not how here, not how everybody else in your company is saying it, but how it solves it for you. Honestly, guys, I think this doesn't happen because this requires a little bit of time and some thought. And I think that is scary for a lot of moms in MLM because we aren't business background people, right? I got my bachelor's in clothing construction. I have spent the last 18 months, year and a half, totally changing and diving into a completely different world than what I was in, which is the world of business. And I have learned so much, but as I have learned so much, I have realized that so many other people who are on my team who have like the same upline. So we're kind of on the same level. So many of those other women are constantly just reaching back up to the upline for answers. And they're not looking very many other places and they're not looking at themselves for the answers. And I think it's because we don't have the background in business, so we have a hard time trusting ourselves, and we don't feel like we know what to do, but the thing is, is that the thing to do in business is to be yourself. They want to buy things from people who believe the same way that they believe. So you need to show them that they that you believe that way. And if you are, I keep on going to fitness instructors, I don't know why, maybe because that's a big one, but... If you're a fitness instructor and you are coming across as somebody who has it totally all together and has no problem waking up at 5 a.m. to work out before the kids are and you just love this shake thing or um, healthy drink that fuels your body and all that kind of stuff, but then I'm over here and it's like, well, that looks super nasty then I'm not going to connect with you and I'm not going to buy from you because I don't believe that I'm the type of person that will wake up at 5 a.m. to work out or that will swallow this drink in zero seconds and will be just hunky-dory about drinking this nasty thing even though if it's good for my body or whatever. But I would connect to somebody who talks about the struggle, talks about how they work around their kids or work out with their kids and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't or how they have to plug their nose to get this drink in but they feel so much better about it and they're just willing to do that hard thing for themselves because personally you deserve the benefits like you are worth that effort does that make sense I know I'm I'm kind of talking fast today it's kind of crazy but do you guys get what I mean You can't be afraid to stop and 
hear what the training and hear the messages from your MLM are. Hear them and then sit down with yourself and think. Think really hard and process it. Here's this message from the company. What does that mean for me? How can I communicate? What is the message that I want to communicate with my people? What do they need? What are their problems? And how can I communicate that message so it's from me? And not just this trinkled down thing. Another example that I experienced was actually from a family member. And I love this family member very dearly. But um, they a few months ago, they joined this MLM. They, um, It's an MLM that sells kind of health products. But it's more of like silver and stuff. And how it gets all science-y. And it's a little bit wonky to me explanations it's not like common well accepted medical science and all that kind of stuff I'm not discrediting it it's just not something that I understand but so here's from my perspective I have these people that I love that I've known for a few years now and my whole experience with them is they're people who want to be healthy but have had a lot of medical problems who have made Um, from my perspective, not always the healthiest choices and have fluctuated in weight and all that kind of stuff and struggled for this time period that I have known them. And then all of a sudden they are trying to present themselves as these knowledgeable things, um, not, not, not knowledgeable things, knowledgeable people and authority figures in this because they say, oh, well, you have this cold, so take this. You take this because X, Y, Z. But that's all they say, X, Y, Z. Okay, well, that doesn't make you an authority figure. And I get that some people might buy into that. And some people may be like, oh, wow, that's good. But you need to realize that from people who know you, from people who have been seeing you for a long time, you are making this snap 180 and you're not being yourself. You're not showing them the journey. Does that, does that make sense? And I think that's where people get in trouble a lot with MLMs is because all of a sudden they are trying to present themselves as this authority figure, this know-it-all, this, um, this is the solution to all your problems. Trust me. Well, why should we trust you? Like you? Do you know what I mean? You need to show them why they should trust you why your opinion matters, and you show that by being in your lane. Now, this applies to every aspect of your business, especially mine, because I realized I was doing, I was still doing the driving in the wrong lane thing with this podcast, and I need to apologize for that. I kept trying to be like my mentors and was talking as if I already had reached some sort of form of success when really I just need to take you guys on my journey and that's what I'm going to do. I still fully believe everything that I've said in past episodes and I'm still going full steam ahead on what I've learned from Steven Larson and other marketers because I know it's brilliance. I've seen it work with multiple people, but I'm I'm shifting. I'm still driving on the same road, but I'm shifting into my lane and doing it the way that is genuine to me. Even though I know that this is a very overused word, um, but it is the most appropriate word for this. You have to be genuine to yourself. It is inauthentic to all of a sudden be talking about just anything, be it the whole silver thing and talking about how that solves all problems when you've only been taking it for like a few months or something. Or even for me, if I came across and was talking about this skincare that I've been using for three weeks and how it's the most amazing thing in the world, that's an unfair statement. It is more fair to say this is solving certain problems for me. It is solving things so far. I will keep you posted in the journey. Does that make sense? There's a, It seems small, but it's very, very real at the difference that those make. So it's the first week of 2019, and I am driving in my lane. It's going to be scary um, because it is uncharted territory, and I think, again, that's why so many of us shy away from it because 
it's uncharted territory. We want somebody to give us the answers. But this lets me get creative and actually think about what people need from me. And it lets me be myself in a more perfectly satisfying way. So in the next episode, I'll be giving you all the numbers from 2018, being very upfront with where I'm at because I don't want to pretend to be something that I'm not. And um, this podcast is not going to be about a successful person looking back and having a skewed perspective saying how it's done. I just want to document what I'm doing and how I'm feeling about it. And I think that needs to start with some real hard, fast numbers. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I really want you guys to just think like, how am I coming across? Maybe even like copy and paste your last few posts about your product and the last few products, the last few posts from um, somebody in your upline or somebody else in the company and see Can you read these without knowing whose is whose and be able to tell the difference? And if you can't, then you need to find a way to get your voice into your, um, into your posts, into your blog, whatever it is, however it is that you are communicating with your prospective customers and, um, relationships, you need to make sure you are speaking in your voice. So I'll see you guys soon. Good luck with 2019. I'm really excited about this year. I think it's going to be a good year for us and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you so much for listening and following along my journey of going from zero business experience and background to building my MLM business from home into an income that can replace my husband's. That is my goal. As I've said many times on the podcast, I'm following the steps and mentorship from Steven Larson, but I want you to know this isn't a resource that I feel like I have to keep to myself. If you'd like to learn more from the MLM master himself, use my link to check out his free web class. This link is way too long. No one would ever remember it if I said it out loud. So check out the show notes for this episode for the link. Hey lovely ladies, thanks for listening. Make sure you remember to subscribe and I'd really love to hear your feedback so don't forget to leave a quick review. 